Okay, well, let's go on to the uh, final slide of the day in the focus. <coughs> well, it's hard to get away from the China story. And I think, you know, um, we, we, we've seen, you know, a, a large amount of volatility based around this over the last month. But I think it doesn't hurt to come back to the story and just reflect on what it might mean. So recent market volatility has been blamed on China's easing monetary policy. Um, that easing suggested slowing growth in the world's economic engine. But of course, the question that we forced to ask is just how much is China showing? New research by Citigroup this week, which is a very interesting report, suggested that real growth rates in China could be nearer to 4% rather than the headline 7% rates that uh, are coming out of Beijing. So a significant differential there. Didn't Citigroup say there's a 55% chance of a made in China world recession? Uh, they did. I think 40% uh, was the chance was of a moderate recession and a 15% chance of something that was more akin to 2007-8, which was driven by a financial crisis. So yes, they are, they are quite negative. The moderate recession is actually not as bad as it sounds, but uh, nonetheless, it's uh, food for thought. And the chart in the middle is uh, courtesy of Sokgen, and this is uh, a chart that tracks the, it's called their news flow indicator, it tracks the number of headlines on a given subject. And here we see a massive peak in the number of articles uh, written about China and China concerns over the last few weeks. So uh, not necessarily telling us anything about the underlying economy, but really just probably telling us how much interest and hype there is around the subject. And if we do see uh, a hard landing, just how you know, hard that might actually hit home um, in the, the, the wider markets.